Welcome to the premiere episode of Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. The plan is to go through all of these cocktails, from the 151 Swizzle all the way down to the six different types of zombies, and we'll check them off as we go. Appropriately, the first cocktail was invented by a guy named Ernest Gant. You might know him as Don Beach, or Don the Beachcomber. He had a small tropical bar in Hollywood that he had the set decorators from the studios come and help decorate. Eventually, his tropical bar turned into a full tiki bar. In fact, he even created the international marketplace in Hawaii. So, the first cocktail is the 151 Swizzle. The ingredients for this cocktail are simple syrup, Pernod, Angostura bitters, and the much heralded Lemon Heart 151. The early days of the Tiki Revival, this stuff was impossible to find. So there were a lot of drinks that you couldn't make. Like you need that for a zombie, you need that for a jet pilot. And uh, only within the last, say, 10 years has it been available all the time. And in fact, there are rum companies now that are creating uh, Demerara 151 rums as well. Like the majority of the Tiki cocktails, this one is lime based. We'll need one half ounce of lime juice. If it's a healthy lime, usually a lime will yield about an ounce of lime juice. So, half an ounce of lime juice. One half ounce of simple syrup. And the reason it's in this bottle is because I make my own simple syrup. Two parts sugar to one part water. You can do it one to one. Two to one tastes a little bit better if you ask me. They call it a rich simple syrup. Next up, six drops of Pernod. This is the Pernod that I'm using. I've already put it into this thing for ease of, of pouring. One, two, three, four, five, six. One dash of bitters, and one and a half ounces of 151. Now you always want to use filtered water ice because the dissolution of the ice has to do with the taste of the cocktail as well. Now the perfect ice consistency is like pebble ice, like you get at Sonic. And in fact, if you go to Sonic and you ask for a bag of ice, you can buy it for about three bucks. Because I can't go to a Sonic right now, I made my own ice, I'm gonna use this vintage ice chipper to get it down to size. So if you see old pictures of Don Beach in his kitchen making cocktails, you'll notice the mixer that he has next to him, which happens to be the same mixer that I have. It's the Hamilton Beach number 33, and I believe it's from the 40s. So you just want to flash blend real quick. Just usually like four or five seconds. And the big part of tiki drinks, I'd say half of the part of tiki drinks is the presentation. This cup is the same style that Don Beach used in the 1940s. It's called a swizzle cup. It's like a mint julep cup, only sleeker. With this cocktail, you want to garnish with some nutmeg. I put a mix of cinnamon and nutmeg in these little salt and pepper shakers. Look, I even left the price on this one. Three bucks. <laughs> and garnish with a cinnamon stick. Now, when you go to one of those fancy tiki bars, they will even wrap this up for you. Because it does get cold to hold. <laughs> in keeping with the metal theme, a metal bamboo straw, and cheers. Whew! That is a... That's a drink that'll get you. But it is so tasty. This is like a one cocktail cocktail. If you enjoyed this, please tell a friend. There'll be more cocktails to come. Oh, I'm crossing it off. First one. 151 Swizzle from the 1940s. Cheers.